Good morning. What's on the agenda for today? Well, as everybody knows, homesteading doesn't stop in the winter and it sure doesn't stop on a Sunday. So here we are. You may have noticed all these guys here. This is our rooster rescue. Everybody that comes in to the farm needs to be in quarantine. So these are our row of quarantine cages. And you'll also notice that the Buff Orpingtons are pacing, so they are definitely hungry. It is time to feed, so we'll be doing that today, too. Right here is where my mic died, so while it's charging, please forgive the voiceover. What I'm trying to tell you is that the cages get smaller, as you can see down here, and we had three cages that were bigger donated to us over the past week, and we always try to start with the bigger cages, until you know we don't always wind up with enough roosters to even get to the smaller cages but we have so it is time to add the bigger cages so those cages that we just got donated to us this week will be put into place so it's time to tear this apart and remake the second half <music> So let's get the goats taken care of real quick. This gate always gets hung up on the dirt. The funny part about feeding my goats is I never feed them in the same bowls every single day. They have six bowls in here, but if I always go the same way, they always know where I'm going and their head is always in the way when I put their feed in their bowl. So I switch it up a little bit every single day, and they never know where I'm going, so I kind of stay one step ahead of them. Because if I don't, you're going to see me tripping over goats and trying to get ahead of them, just to get some feed in their bowls. Now moving on to Romeo, and if you notice, as soon as I get this food over by the gate, he likes to stand on the gate so that I can't open it. Of course, that's a problem. So when I put the food to the side, he gets off the door, and as inconvenient as that board is, it is the perfect height so that when he rams the door, he doesn't bust it any more than he already has. And of course, we give them hay every day because having access to hay all the time is really important. For and everyone knows that fresh water every day, also really important. That's one of the most important things that you can do for your animals is to make sure that they have fresh water every single day. And we do keep a couple of ducks in here, so sometimes this water can get a little bit more muckier than it normally would. So now it's time we've got to feed the rabbits. Now you may ask why I went and caught him. Well, because this is a flock of 11 hens and I need two roosters in here. I like to keep two roosters just in case and as long as they get together. But unfortunately, his other half did not make it. Um, so I have another pair of roosters and I'm gonna put him to the side and see if these other two roosters will uh, get along and be okay in this flock, and if not, then I'll put him back, but we'll see how it goes. Okay, I just put the two boys in here. Of course, I don't expect miracles right away. There will be a little bit of adjustment, and that's fine. But so far, so good. So there's this guy over here. 
And then this guy. All right, we'll come back in a little bit and check out how they're doing. Well, now we've gotten the feeding done, and now it's time to go ahead and pull out the bigger cages and work on the rooster rescue. So now it's time to get this done. Like the first part up into about here is okay. It's all that. It needs to be redone. So let's get these cages out here and get to work. Well, here we go. First, we've torn off all of the old parts. So we're going to get these small cages out of here. Well, we finally finished it. It took a long time. You can see I shed the sweatshirt because it was getting hot. But we finally got it done. Let's take a look at it. So it starts here. And then we just, as we were doing this, we had roosters being dropped off, so I couldn't do the whole video like I wanted to. Now, we still have some smaller cages at the end, but that's okay. We're still, we're working on it. It's a process, and it's coming along great, and it gives them just a little bit more room while they're in quarantine. So yeah, if you need a rooster and you're local, come on over and check out what we have. The only thing that we ask when you bring a rooster, if you need to drop any off, is to please bring some food because this can be expensive to do out of our pockets. And we don't mind doing it at all, but a little bit of help with the feed is sure appreciated. Well, this is what it looks like now. We've got the tarps covered so they can't get wet from the back or the top or this guy from the side. By about 11.30, three quarters of the cage is in the shade, so that's great. I spent today making sure of that, so that's how I know that. But this is all the quarantine cages for the rooster rescue when people need to drop them off. It won't take long to find them all homes. So far, I don't have any mean ones. I haven't noticed any mean ones. So that's a definite bonus. And it sure makes it easier to find homes for them when they're not mean. But that is the rooster rescue. And that's where they go. And uh, we just feed and water them and take care of them until... They find a home. That's all there is to it. All right. Well, that's one job out of the way that don't have to worry about anymore. Till next time, guys.